Hi pet lovers, thank you for joining Gina's Grooming Channel. Today we are going to be talking about lifts and holds for our large dogs. If you are interested in lifts and holds for small dogs, make sure to look for that on our channel. So lifting a dog is not only important for grooming, especially large dogs, it's also something that as a pet owner, you may need to do in your life with your pet. So if your pet needs to go to the veterinarian, if they're hurt, if they collapse during a walk, you wanna know how to pick them up properly and safely so that you don't hurt yourself and you're able to pick up your dog effectively. So a few things before I go in and go ahead and lift this dog, this is Reagan. Um, there's a few important things I wanna talk about. So if your dog is special needs, uh, so if your dog is elderly or has some injuries, make sure you're very careful about putting them on an elevated surface because today we're doing lifts and holds for grooming. But know that if your dog is special needs, it might not need to be on an elevated surface. And so we're gonna go ahead and release a video soon about working with your special needs dogs, your large special needs dogs, on the floor so make sure to subscribe for that and be on the lookout for when we release that video now a note about folks that have disabilities so special needs pet owners special needs people obviously you want to be very careful not to hurt yourself know your limitations um, if you need to get help make sure you get help you also may want to consider getting either a hydraulic table or an electric table that goes down very low so we do have a video out on grooming tables this is a static table and I'm going to show you how to get a big dog onto this type of a table that does not move up and down but if you are special needs yourself or also again if your dog is special needs you may want to consider getting a table that lowers all the way down getting your pet to step onto the table and then elevating it either hydraulically or electronically all right well let's get into the meat and potatoes of this this is reagan again uh, he is a standard poodle he is right now about 65 pounds so reagan is about 30 kilos um, now in terms of my size uh, i range between 115 and 120 uh, pounds so that's about 50 52 kilos so reagan is more than half my weight now i am going to tell you this is that you have to be really careful i usually keep my lifts to about this range of my body weight to the dog, but that's not applicable for all people. Remember, I do this for a living. Um, I also stretch, I also exercise, I do strength training to make sure that I'm prepared not only for my own personal health, but also for the health of my job and the job that I am required to do. So make sure you know your limitations. And just because I have this ratio, that ratio might not work for you. But I am gonna show you techniques that work for me so that I can go ahead and lift a bigger dog safely, making sure that I don't hurt myself or the dog. So let's go ahead and jump in. Now for our lifts with small dogs, we did a lot of things in terms of dominant hand and non-dominant hand. So which hand and arm is stronger for you? So I am a righty, but for lifting a dog, we can do it either way. But I do prefer to put my dominant hand usually under the majority of the dog's body. So I'm gonna show you how that's done. I do wanna tell you that some people also lift dogs differently. They'll go ahead and lift this way. I'm gonna show you a very common grooming way so that if you're even if you're a small person, you should be able to lift dogs very safely using your knees okay so let's go ahead and show you the technique keeping Reagan looking this way I'm gonna go ahead down right I'm crouching down I'm gonna put my this is my dominant hand under his stomach keeping my knees bent my other hand is gonna go in between his legs okay and meet him at the chest here okay so using my knees to lift up we do a little alley-oop and then this way I can go ahead and put the dog onto a table. Okay, so I can go ahead and lift Reagan up and put him on a table. There are other ways that you can go ahead and get a dog on a static grooming table if you don't have an electronic or hydraulic table that is uh, able to go up and down for you. So the key is, and let's go ahead and zoom in on this, is to get their front paws up, right, and placed onto the table. I'm gonna show you how that works. Now, Reagan is trained to do this. Reagan, up, up. Good boy. Okay, now if a dog's paws are on the front table, this also works for tubs, you can just go ahead and help them up with their bottom part, okay, with their back part. So this is a really, really good way for the dog to kind of help you out. Now I will tell you this, if a dog is not trained, which not too many dogs are trained as well as Reagan for that, what you can do is just pick up their front paws, put it on the surface that you're lifting them to, and do that same technique, get behind them, and just lift up their rump, get them on the table so you can go ahead and start working with them. All right, so I'm gonna take off uh, the lead because this is a tightening lead um, and he's on an elevated surface, but I wanted to show you some common holds and lifts. Up, up, baby. 
for dogs. Now for large dogs, when you're working on different parts of the body, know that sometimes you need to support them and you may need to get your arm in there, you may need to get your shoulder in there. But if they're elevated, this works really well to be able to go ahead and lift up their paws, to do nails, to do paw trims. Okay, for tails and sanitaries, I'm using my other hand, my non-dominant hand, to lift up the tail so I can go ahead and do a sanitary. I wanna show you from this side, if I'm doing a, a sanitary on a male, I can go ahead and lift the leg, okay? And then go ahead and do the sanitary from there. Okay guys, remember if a dog is on an elevated surface, you have to be very careful. Normally you do want to use a grooming arm and grooming loop unless a dog is very, very well trained. So be aware of that. But now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to safely take a dog off an elevated surface and what techniques you need to do to get that done safely. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. We're going to have them stand up for us. Good boy, Reagan. Up, up. Okay. So here we are, static table, okay? I've got him here. I'm gonna follow the same rule that I did to lift him up, which is I'm gonna get him around his waist and with my other arm between his front legs. Gently release. All right, <laughs> good boy, good boy. You did so good. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Lifts and Holds for Large Dogs. If you guys have any questions or comments, please put them down below. We'd be happy to answer them for you. Really appreciate you clicking that thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe for more like it. We will see you soon. Thank you.